White sugar causes all kinds of dis-ease, hypoglycemia, diabetes, fatigue, schizophrenia, mental illness. It is the leading cause of stress. It is the world's number one food addiction. Sugar is sweet. Really, the craving for sugar is a craving for love. But eating sugar is the wrong way to get love. Most people are not aware that white sugar creates micro explosions in your tissues. And this is the reason why sugar kills cells. This was brought out by a man named Dr. Paul Goss in his book, Forever Young. Then there's white starch. When it says bleached, or when it says enriched starch or enriched flour, that means it's been bleached. When it's been bleached, it's zero nutrition. Many calories, but no nutrition. Starch is not really a food for human consumption. But we love starch, even our whole grains. Of course, the replacement for a white flour would be your whole grains, like kobe, kamu, quinoa. But it makes you constipated, especially the process in which flour. The word glue comes from gluten, which is a product of wheat, a component of wheat. The solution to inferior food, of course, is superior food. Superior food is food made by nature in its natural state. The closer the food is to the way nature made it, the better it is for you. Hence your fresh, leafy vegetables. Who likes vegetables? I don't like vegetables. <laughs> of vegetables because juice, vegetable juice, not so much the fruit, but the vegetable juice is loaded with minerals. Even when you juice the commercial vegetables, ideally you want to get organic. One of the best things for your body is the fresh juice, not eating it the way it is, but taking the juice and the reason for that is within 15 minutes, your body has fully assimilated it. It is the most bioavailable form of nutrition there is. People that are overweight are actually starving nutritionally. You'll discover that if you give yourself superior nutrition, then the cravings for food, food cravings will just go away. You'll feel better. Instead of taking vitamins, you know, people take vitamin A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Nature never gives you fractionated nutrients. It's always synergistic clusters of nutrients. So in the long run, it's not good to always take supplements that are fractionated. It's better to use fresh juice as your supplements or whole food supplements like spirulina, royal jelly, Dr. Schultz superfood. The darker the natural food, the more nutrition it has. So instead of eating cauliflower, you want to eat broccoli. Cauliflower is just albino broccoli. A quick way to know if a food is good for you can you eat it in its natural state and relish it? If you have to put food through extensive preparation just to eat it, then maybe it's best to consider another food. Before I get off this topic, do we have any questions about food? That's what I thought, okay. Toxemia is the third major cause of sub-health and disease. We have offensive body odors, a need for deodorants, chronic constipation, foul-smelling stools, low energy, lethargy, insomnia, no appetite or overeating, heavy menstruation, menstrual cramps, 
bloodshot eyes, aches, pains, chronic depression. These are all signs of inner toxemia. Now, fortunately, there are easy ways to purify our body. And one is called oil pulling, O-I-L-P-U-L-L-I-N-G. What you do is you take a tablespoon or so of sunflower oil or safflower oil, put it in your mouth, you don't swallow it, you just swish it around for 15 to 20 minutes, that's all you do. If you get too much liquid in your mouth, you can spit some of it out. After 15 to 20 minutes, it should be like milk. What happens is when you do this on an empty stomach, it literally pulls the worst poisons out of your system. And if you're suffering from dis-ease or health problems, your health problems tend to lessen. Another way to pull poisons out of your system is to take a teaspoon or so of bentonite clay mixed in water or pascalite clay, P-A-S-C-A-L-I-T-E. Clay is a literal magnet for poisons in your system. Most people have anywhere from two to 30 or more pounds of feces in the colon that never comes out. When we have these big guts that hang over like that, that's not fat. That's something else. You go on a colon cleanse, a colon cleansing program, most of that goes away. Your tummy becomes nice and flat or much flatter. Now, uh, because of our overloaded colons, this is one of the main reasons why people suffer sub-health. There's a uh, doctor named Dr. Schultz. He has a program called the Five Day Colon Cleanse and it will effectively clean your colon out. Herbdoc.com, H-E-R-B-D-O-C.com. Alopherox, Alopherox bitters. It's a teeny little container smaller than this, it lasts four to six weeks, and it's little like pebbles in there. And it comes from the Adolphyrox plant. And by taking one or two and dropping it in the back of your mouth, drinking water, this will clean your colon out very easily. And then the easiest way I know to clean out the colon is something called L. salivarius. That's the letter L, a period. S-A-L-I-V-A-R-I-U-S. It is a microbe. When you ingest this, it starts to multiply in your colon. You want to take this daily. You want to take it for months. And it literally eats the hardened feces out of your colon. It's the passing way. A source for this, the only source I know of for this is the website aragarden.com. That's the letter Ara for rich. G-A-R-D-E-N, the word garden. Aragarden.com. And it's quite affordable. It used to be extremely expensive. Yes, it's uh, Ara, the letter Ara as in rich garden, G a r -a d e n dot com. Parasites. Everybody has parasites. You think you don't have parasites, then you especially have parasites. <laughs> you have floaters in your eyes. You know those things where you look somewhere and you see spots moving? Those are called floaters. Wrinkly feet. Diarrhea, itchy nose, allergies, aches, bloat, snoring, anemia, grinding your teeth at night, blisters, you're hungry a lot because the parasites are eating up your food. 
chronic fatigue, depression, nervousness.